and a high sensitivity camera. This technology allows us to detect droplets as small as 0.1 micrometers wide. The experiment starts. First, sneezing. We can see a large droplet, about one millimeter in diameter. It quickly falls. But let's look through the high sensitivity camera. We can see small particles that seem to glitter floating through the air. These particles are all smaller than 10 micrometers or one one hundredth of a millimeter in diameter. Let's take a look from a different angle. They're small and light. You can see them drifting through the air. These are micro droplets. We're learning that sneezing isn't the only source of these droplets. We ran the same experiment on a close-range conversation. People generate a lot of micro droplets when they talk loudly. The droplets between these two stay where they are. They don't drift away. It's not yet known what volume of micro droplets leads to infection. But Tatada says we can't rule out the possibility that micro droplets have spread the virus to some extent. あるいは激しい息遣い、そういった中でですね、このマイクロ飛沫ができて、それが近くの人、その人が吸い込むことによって感染が広がる。そういったリスクが見えてきたものと思います。The risk room. About ten people in an enclosed space the size of a classroom. A person coughs once and spreads about 100,000 droplets. Large droplets are shown in blue and green. Most of these fall to the ground within one minute. But the micro droplets shown in red continue to drift. This simulation uses only micro droplets. Five minutes later, 10 minutes later, twenty minutes later, the micro droplets are still floating in place. But there is a way to prevent the stagnation of micro droplets. 